Good evening. Good evening. Um, so Baruch Hashem, it was uh, another another very powerful day. A day of um, aligning, becoming a vessel for the sphere, for the light. Becoming a vessel for manifestation, more sensitivity, more sensitive to the touch, sensitive to the feel as to what's going on, what's the temperature. So um, we're heading up north. We're heading up north. We're going up to the Har Sinai. We're climbing the Har Sinai. We're almost there. We're almost there. With Shuas is where we get to the crown. We get to the Kesser. That's where we meet face to face. It's where Malchus. We are the Malchus where we meet face to face with Kesser. So um, we have the first four weeks of the Sphere of the sphere of accounting, the Oymer, is Avedis Habirurim, it's Avedis of polishing, removing, dusting off, um, as kafi, as hapcha, it's, it's, it's battle, uphill battle, constantly questioning and agonizing and agony and all that stuff, and that is because the first of four middas, which is Chesed, Gevura, Teferes, are more um, Ennetzach, um, that is the, uh, the they're aggressive aggressive energies they're aggressive kalim it's it's outbursts of love and then holding back and then the balance it's all it's a battle how do I balance out and all that but as the uh, Svarim is saying and uh, you know I believe we touched on it briefly that starting from the fifth week which is the week of Hud we're already getting into a place that we are. Um, getting closer to Matan Torah, it's already a we're, we we climbed the hill. We already climbed the roller coasters at the top, and now we're starting to flatten out. We're we're flattening out and, and gliding. We know we're at the altitude where we want to be, and we're starting to glide. And Bafrat, we are also in the week of Lagba Oimer. Lagba Oimer is is no joke. It's no joke. Lagba Oimer. Lagba Oimer is. The conversation that we are having today, everything that we're discussing, every level of understanding that you're having right now, is because of the week of Hoyd, which is Rav Shimon Barichai. Hoyd Shabahoyd, Rav Shimon Barichai. What does that mean? Yes, there is a lot of breakthroughs and there is awakenings been happening for thousands of years of evolution, but this level of awakening and this level of awareness that we're dealing with right now, which is being able to tap into Ruch Hashel Mashiach, the spirit of Mashiach, this high consciousness of oneness, to be able to see everything and everywhere is just Enoid Movado, everything is one. That is only from the injection of the Zoyer, from the, Hoid, from, from the, the week of, of Hoid, Zoyer, Rab Shimon Barichai. The Gansa Torah is Baal Shem, and, 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 and Torah is Chassid, is Chabad, and the whole thing is from uh, a, a, a due to, uh, to, to Rab Shimon. That's what we're talking about over here. It's a level of it's a level of esoteric type of consciousness. It's it's out there. It's colorful. It's seeing everything for what it truly is, the depth of it, the the the, the soul in everything. But in order for me to see the soul in everything, I gotta activate the soul within me. Only then can my radar radar pick up, my X-ray vision can pick up on on what's going on in the premise to scan through all the to scan through the, the, the metal, to scan through the suitcase, to scan through the walls and be able to see through, so too to scan through the body and see through the, the skeleton and see the, 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 the essence of what we're dealing with. That is, Reb Shimon gives us that gift. That's the consciousness of Reb Shimon. So, up until now, we were doing the work of, of physical cleaning and now it's more of, there is nothing to really to open up or to understand. It's just visualizing the light, visualizing the way it runs, visualizing where it's at, feeling it. There's no words for this. You don't need any words. The the the, the koyach is doing the work for you. You're just tuning in to the koyach, tune into the light, tune into to the alignment. Where am I getting the handshake now? So, yesterday, which is uh, Monday, still to some today. Um, was we had uh, uh, Gvura, 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 Gvura. Okay, we had Sunday, we had Chesed, 
שבגבורה. I mean, I'm sorry, we had the Chesed, Chesed Shabbat, and then today is, Monday was Gevur Shabbat, and tomorrow, Tuesday, is Tefer Shabbat. So as you can see, um, Gevur Shabbat, we can go up line straight. I can go up the line straight. Hoid, Gevura, it's the whole calf smile. Hoid, Gevura, Bina, which goes into Chachma and then to Keser. But if I do just that, then it's super intense. It's super intense. When we deal with the Gevura days, it's very intense. But since I already did yesterday, we did Chesed, we activated Chesed. So now when my Hoid is hitting Gevura, I'm already bringing in my Chesed also, so it's li- it's lit up lightly, not as intense, not as strong as Gevura, because Gevura is direct hit, it's a direct Kav, but I'm also lined up with, my Chesed is also activated, so to, because of that, there is already in Hoid, we're already starting to have a Koyim Shulayma. I already have a body with two arms, I'm already, my body is already established, we did the week of Chesed, did the week of Gevura, the week of Tefer is balanced. Netzach, March through Netzach was intense. And now here we are in Hoid. So I'm already balanced out. And then we're stepping in, Tuesday we're stepping into Hoid, uh, Tefer Shabahid. Tefer Shabahid is, Tefer is balanced. And because I have balance, now it's hitting directly in the middle, in the center line. It goes from Hoid, which is a hoida, which is compassion, um, uh, great uh, gratitude. Sorry, gratitude, gratitude, not compassion. I keep mixing it up. Gratitude. Um, it's a beautiful mid. It's a beautiful energy. It's a beautiful light, and that goes into the uh, teferis, which lights up. And teferis doesn't pull to one or the other sides. It goes straight to the middle, and because we, we know already, we touched on chesed and gevura, so that's why. Therefore, there is a perfect balance, and from that we go on up into. Uh, the Bina, Chachman, and then Kesser again. And ultimately, um, you want to do a meditation. Just imagine, picture the image, any any color you want to put to it. Uh, have an image where the line runs and just meditate on that for uh, whatever you want, five minutes, ten minutes. Um, you can breathe into it and let that um, do the healing for, for you without putting any words to it. Um... Yeah, so that's that, and uh, we're uh, okay. We're almost there. Balak Weimer. Have a good evening.